Hi, Mr. Coisy here. I'm going to show you how to build an amazing magic square, sometimes called a most perfect magic square or a strongly magic square. What we're going to need is three 4x4 four four grids. In the first one, we're going to put the ingredients and in the second one, we're going to build up a recipe and then use these ingredients and the recipe to build our magic square in the third grid. So what are the ingredients that we'll use? Well, they're just the numbers 1 up to 16. There they are. Now let's build up the recipe. But to do that, we need to label the rows of the ingredients A, B, C, D and also label the columns 1, 2, 3, 4. And then over in the recipe, what we now do, take the row labels and distribute them along the first row of the recipe in order, A, B, C, D. Come back along the second row, distributing A, B, C, D in order. And now we're going to do the same with the column numbers. We'll go down the first column, distributing 1, 2, 3 and 4 in order down the first column column of the recipe and then do the same coming back up the second column in order one two three four now look at the first row of the recipe missing are the numbers two and three let's put them in and in the second row of the recipe missing one and four red numbers let's put them in Let's look down the first column, missing B and C, yellow letters. Put them in. And the second column, missing A and D. We'll put them in. Now there's a rule building up a recipe like this, which is sometimes called a Greco-Latin square, that there's no repeats of letters, no repeats of numbers. So you might want to stop the video, figure out, what combinations go in the last four empty boxes? There's only one choice for each box. Did you manage that? First box there in the third row, D4, followed by C1. And then the final two boxes in the bottom row, third column, A3, fourth column, B2. So now the recipe is complete. How do we use that recipe to get the ingredients over to the magic square? Well, let's look at the first row, first column. It says A1. So that's the first of the recipes there, A1. We look over at the ingredients and find the number labelled A1. That's the number 1. So in the recipe where we read A1, we know that means the number 1. And then we put that 1 in the magic square in the corresponding box. Let's look at the recipe. Next one, B4, second square. Go to the ingredients. B4 is the number 8. So where we read B4 in the recipe, we know that's the number 8. It moves over to the magic square in the corresponding box. Back to the recipe. C2 is the next. Next one. C2 in the ingredients gives us the number 10. So where it says C2 is the recipe, that's referring to the number 10 which said goes into the corresponding box in the magic square. And let's complete the top row. D3 is the next instruction. That's number 15. So the D3 instruction in that recipe is referring to the number 15, which then goes across to the magic square into the corresponding box. So let's sit back and watch the magic square being completed.
And so here we have our completed magic square. Now, why is it called the most perfect magic square? Let's sit back again and just look at the wonders of the symmetries in this square. Well, that's Mr. Corsi signing out, and I hope you enjoyed the video.